Hey guys, in this video, I replaced the window scrapers in a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is my 1970 uh, daily driver. And uh, if you've owned a Volkswagen long enough, uh, you probably had this happen to you before. Uh, these are the window scrapers and uh, what happens is, over time these get dry and uh, they start cracking and then, and then pieces of it break off and it doesn't do its job anymore as far as keeping water uh, out of the out of your door so uh, we're going to take we're going to tear this door apart and uh, replace these scrapers with some new ones and while we're at it we're going to go ahead and do uh, the one the one on the inside along with it Okay guys, so the first step in this process will be to remove the door panel. Alright, we'll first go ahead and take off the, the window crank. And just pull off this black cover here with a, a flat tip screwdriver. And then behind that you have a, a cross tip screw that holds that on. And then behind this you'll have a, uh, a little plastic spacer keeps the window crank from uh, cutting into the door panel so go ahead and put this back in there so I don't lose it and then next we'll, we'll pull off this uh, finger plate right here and again we'll use a, a flat tip screwdriver just going behind her like this. Oh, that popped out. And then once again behind that, for this uh, this piece here, you got another uh, cross tip screw behind there. Okay, next we'll, we'll pop the, uh, the door panel loose from the door and uh, I just use uh, just your basic plastic trim tool and uh, this has about 23 uh, fasteners around the, the outer edge of the, of the panel. So I'll just start on one corner and if you're, uh, you're kind of concerned about your, your scratching your paint, you can just lay down a couple pieces of masking tape right like that to uh, use to pry against uh, with your tool. So we'll just start here. Start popping those loose. Okay, so I got all the, the clips popped loose, but as you can see, the, the door panel is still on the door. And that's because on the back of this armrest, here's a, another armrest. On the back of it, there's this little uh, bracket here. And then on the welded to the, the door is a little clip. And this bracket basically uh, hooks over that, that clip on the door to help hold the door panel on. So take it off and again to avoid scratching your paint if you got good paint on the door I'll usually just take it and kind of bow it like this and then just slowly work it up off of that little clip like just like that and as you can see there's the, the bracket on the back of it okay it looks like we still got the old 
the old plastic. So we'll take this plastic off. All right, as you can see, uh, even with the window all the way down, uh, the glass is still kind of in the way up here where the scraper is. So what I like to do is just uh, unbolt it down here at the bottom of the regulator and then just let the glass sit down in the bottom of the door while I'm changing out the scraper. So we'll, we'll take it loose down here. So we'll just let that slide down a little bit and okay now it's out of the out of the way of the scraper Okay, next we can uh, go ahead and take out this inner scraper and again using the, the plastic trim tool just reach in here and uh, it's got some clips on it too. One, two, three, five, six, it looks like it's got seven clips on it. And just pick up this end of it. All right, in order to replace these scrapers, uh, the vent window has to come out. And it has one, one 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then up here in the top, behind this uh, felt channel, there's a cross tip screw up in there. So to get the vent window out, we're first gonna have to remove this uh, felt channel right here. All right, guys. So. What's holding the felt channel in the door are these little clips. There's about six or eight of these clips around the the uh, inside of the door that holds that channel in place. And basically, you can see this little little tab here on the on the top. Um, there's holes drilled in the door, and then this little this little clip here goes inside those holes. And then on the other side of it, you got these little little teeth rectangular or triangular shaped teeth that's what actually holds the uh, the felt channel uh, inside of the door so we gotta we gotta go around and kind of work that felt channel out of each one of these clips okay so again using your uh, plastic trim tool just get up here uh, the first one's right in this area here so we'll get in here and kind of you start working it loose from that clip and if you, you plan on reusing this felt channel you know, be, be careful with it because it's easy sometimes they're they're a little older and they're easy to, to break where is it at okay there's the first one and then we'll just go around and uh, like I said, there's about four or five of these. You see that one there? That one there broke. The little tab is bent up on it. But I got I got a few new ones so we can we can replace that. This one, that one there, that one too is also damaged, so we'll replace it. came off
And then there's a a few more a few more down in the the bottom of the of the door down here that need to come off also. Okay, I got all the clips loose. And then what I usually do is uh, if you take it and turn it sideways like so, it'll lift it come up out of the door a lot easier like this. As you can see, some of the clips are on the felt channel, and then there's a few others that are still in the door. And those also are part of what holds the scraper in place, so we gotta take all those clips out. And the best way to do that is to take a, a screwdriver, a flat tip screwdriver, and a hammer, and just set the screwdriver up against it and just tap on the on the hammer and, and knock those out. But what I'm seeing here on this is that somebody has d replaced this before and for some reason they've put pop rivets in here. They've got one, two, three, four, four pop rivets in there for some reason. So I'm gonna have to drill those out. That's a shame. Normally you wouldn't have those in there. It's usually just the clip, the black clips that hold, hold the scraper in place. So I'll drill those out first. Okay, so I got all the clips out along with those pop rivets. And uh, so the last thing to take out before the scraper is this vent window. This vent window, as I said earlier, it's got a cross tip screw up here in the top. And this is one of them fasteners on, a, on an old beetle that can be sometimes be a booger to get out. So uh, what I do is uh, just stand up and put a lot of upward force and pressure on that as I'm turning it with my screwdriver. So uh, let's try to get that thing out. Okay. Like I said, when I take these out, these are easy to strip. So I use the, the bigger um, cross tip screwdriver. Before I start turning it, I put a lot of upward force on the uh, on the screw like this just lift up on it and then turn it oh that one came out pretty easy but it is stripped out a little bit looks like somebody else has messed with it a little bit That, that screw there and then finally our uh, 10 millimeter bolt right here on the side The best way to get this out is I'll, I'll just open the, the window like this and just bump it to the top and then lean it back.
like that. All right, now we're ready to pop the scraper out. And it's got one, one smaller uh, cross tip screw up here in the, in the very top of it. And then we'll go back to our trim tool and uh, it's got some clips clips on it right here and we'll pop those out and we get this one out just like that Shazam. <laughs> Now, as you can see here, here, and here, uh, some of the clips came out of the, the scraper and stayed in the door. So we'll just take a couple of flat tip screwdrivers and uh, pick those out of there. Maybe. All right guys, so here are my new scrapers. I got them, picked these up at Wolfsburg West, both the inner and outer. So I got got all four of them for $160. So there's the inside scraper and then the uh, outside. All right, so we can go ahead and install these two. Okay guys, we're basically gonna reassemble the door in reverse order that we took it apart. And the, uh, the first thing we'll do is put in the, the new scraper. And it's basically held on with, with uh, four different fasteners. First off, you got these clips. There's seven of these clips here. And uh, for some reason this only had four in it when I took it out of the package so I added added three more of them from the the old scraper so I use those clips and then on this corner of it there's a tab right here that you'll fold on over once it's inside the door <clears throat> and then if you remember at the top there's the, uh, the cross tip screw that goes in here and then lastly the uh, all of the the black clips that hold the uh, felt channel in in place. Let's go ahead and put this in, starting with with these seven clips here. So we'll just set this in here, and. Uh, what I like to do is get all seven of those clips lined up first on the hole before I start pushing them in. And Now once they're all lined up, just go along and pop each one of them in. Just like that. And I added a little piece of 
masking tape here on the end just to kind of hold that end in place while I'm working the rest of it. Then next we'll get this little tab here on the end and I'll basically just take my finger in there and get it started. Push it backwards. Sometimes you can wrap it all the way with your finger. Just like that. That holds that, that end into place. That's yeah, good. Okay, so here's those holes I was talking about in the door for the, for the uh, black clips. So there's two of them here on the back of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in first. And then we'll put that small screw in the top at the front. So what you want to do is uh, this little tab on top of the, the black clip here. You want to start that in the hole. And then take your flat tip screwdriver and your hammer and, and just tap it into place. Just like that. All right, now on this top piece here, as you can see, there's no hole already pre-drilled. So you just have to find out, find your hole there for the screw. And then I'll just take a, a Sharpie and make a mark right there. And then I'll, I'll put myself a small hole in there for my, my screw. Okay, so I got that screw in and then I went ahead and Finished off the clips in the top here. There's three across the top. And then we'll add one more down here on the inside the, uh, the door. All right, now we're ready for the inside scraper. And just like the outside, this one has fewer clips on it. I don't know why. This old one's got, got seven clips on it. But the new one only has four. Um, I guess they maybe they feel like that's just enough to hold it in place. I guess I don't know. But we'll go ahead and put that in. All right, just like the other scraper, set this inner scraper in place. Line up your clips, and then uh, go ahead and pop them in inside. Just like that. And I went ahead and put some masking tape on here to kind of help me eyeball the, where the holes are. Makes it easier to line up the clips. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the vent window. And right now is a good time to go ahead and clean up all this stainless trim on the window while you got it out. And then before you go back in, it's going to be a little bit tighter of a space here since you got the two new window scrapers. So what I'll do is uh, take a little bit of white lithium grease and put it on the inside of both of these just to make help you help you slide the window in. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Here we go. So I got got some lithium grease on there, and I also put a little bit on either side of the, the window track here. So we'll start this at an angle, and hopefully. 
hopefully this will go right in. There it goes. <laughs> okay, she's in. So now we'll just put that uh, Phillips head screw back up in here and then the, the 10 millimeter bolt here on the side. All right, the last piece we got before we put the door panel back on is this felt channel. And uh, the best way to start this is right here in this corner. Just take the two scrapers and, and pull them apart and then start that uh, felt channel down in there like that and it should slide right down inside the door. <clears throat> I'm on the clip. And then once you get it down far enough, then you can start pressing it into those, those black clips. Now we can go ahead and reattach our window glass. And what I like to do is go ahead and get the glass started between the two uh, scrapers. Make sure it's lined up right. And then I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the bottom bolt in the regulator. I'll leave it loose. Then I'm gonna reattach my window crank. Just for a second <clears throat> and then uh, bring bring the regulator up to match the, the window glass and then loosely start those two bolts And then what I'll do is go ahead and wind the window all the way up. It's going to be a little bit tighter with those new scrapers in. I want to get it set into place there. And then using these two access holes, I'll tighten the uh, tighten these two bolts. And then the one here at the bottom on the on the regulator. Now 
Nee, ik haal hem niet. All right, now before you put the door panel back on, this is a good time to, to do a few things. You can uh, go ahead and lubricate your regulator track here if, you, if it needs it. Uh, you can go ahead and vacuum inside the door here. There's a lot of dirt and debris that kind of accumulates there over time. And then for the door panel, if you're missing your any of the boots, go ahead and replace the, the boots for the, the clips that go on the door. And then the same thing with the door panel clips, you know, check that for any missing or, or broken clips and, and replace those. So we're ready to snap this back into place. Well, there it is guys, all finished, all installed, new window scraper. And I also went ahead and did the one on the passenger side. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions uh, just hit me up in the comments below and stay tuned for my next video i'll be checking out a, a bug show this coming weekend in chattanooga tennessee i'll see you then